No, because I actually saw these in Primark for £1.50 and I had to grab them. They're like these little rolly things and I thought they were the cutest things ever. Plus they're pink and plus I want big voluminous hair. Everyone's been going crazy over their hair over these last few weeks for some crazy reason. So I've been like, should I be trying more with my hair? And I saw these and I was like, okay, yes, I should be. So they come with like five large rollers and it says use to create curls, waves, body and volume in your hair. So let's get section it. Ta-da! And if my hair can look as good as these people using the Dyson Air Wrap, the extremely expensive Dyson Hair Wrap, then I will absolutely take it, you know? I'm going to roll it up. I think this is what you're meant to do. It's actually really simple. This is my first attempt. Go on, girl! I don't actually know what these are going to be like to sleep in, because these are big. But also, guys, I just washed my hair with Olaplex, in case you're wondering. Um, and then I just actually used this oil to make my hair nice and shiny. Um, but what was I saying? I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, basically, my hair's, like, towel dry. Um, it's, like, still wet. But if it's still wet in the morning, then I'm just going to have to use my hair dryer to make it all dry. I do actually really hope that these work. I have a laser hair removal appointment tomorrow. So... I kind of want cute hair to go to London in with. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm back in Reading now. And I'm going to be down here for like three weeks, which is actually quite a long time for me. I spent the last um, month up in Newcastle, so this is a long time for me to be down. So I'm literally putting these curlers in as if I was like curling my hair with the hair curlers, right? And then pin curling them. Um, so when I get to the third section of my head, I always split into two. So this section will take up four rollers. I'm actually opening pack number two now. I also realised there's actually six in here and not five, so that was me being silly. So altogether I have 12 rollers, but I don't think I'm going to need all of it. But also I'm actually going to show you on how I'm like using it. So I put this at the bottom, I wrap, oh, I wrap the bottom bit around my hair and then I'm just making it flat and rolling it up so the hair's nice and like spread out. And then at the top I will just like curl it in to like secure it all in place so obviously these do look extremely silly um but i'm still gonna give them a go you know i feel like i have a little bit of faith in them like surely it can do the job i just hope that it does the job i've like done this actually no, i'm gonna bend this one backwards oh fancy because i kind of want this bit to be like all flowy and all that sort of you guys i know you guys know what i'm on about right when people like let out their curl and it like goes pew, and goes all nice into their face all blowy okay guys so that actually only took about 10 minutes to do so this is what the hair looks like i look crazy i'm gonna go ahead and sleep now hopefully it's not uncomfortable but i will show you guys the results in the morning story time about how my boyfriend shames me for having cellulite disclaimer is not my story time i sent him on instagram that's when he said point blank super serious do you ever exercise i just stared at him i had literally just woken up in his bed after the first time we ever did it then i thought he must be joking so i started to laugh a little and then he says no seriously do you ever exercise i said sometimes then he told me you should really try to work out at least five times a week i went home and finally texted him saying that i wasn't comfortable with the way he spoke to me that's when he said that what he said to me was completely normal and that i shouldn't be offended this was all in text by the way that's when he sends me a another text message saying, you know, you wouldn't have as much cellulite as you do if you didn't eat so much fast food. And if you exercise five times a week, like I told you, I didn't reply to him for the rest of the day. Later that day, he shows up to my apartment and says, you know, I should feel comfortable enough to tell you what I think about you. He somehow ended up making me feel bad and I ended up apologizing. Obviously after that, I became really self-conscious about my cellulite and my entire body. So anytime we were together, I would always stay under the covers. By the way, my boyfriend doesn't have a great body. He's super soft and pudgy. Last week, he told me that he had abs though. Part three is a Story time about how my boyfriend shames me for having cellulite. Disclaimer, it's not my story time. It's sending me on Instagram. One day, he pulls up his shirt and says, look, I have abs. Which, no, he doesn't. He's super soft and has a thick layer of fat on it. I smirked and he said, what? And I said, you don't have abs. Then he says, yes, I do. I'm in better shape than you. By the way, he said this in front of his friends. So I was super embarrassed and stayed quiet the entire day. He finally went to drop me off and I was so happy to be home. But he decided to come upstairs with me. He got straight into my PJs. And when I came out of my bedroom, he says, wow, your cellulite's getting worse by the day. That's when I finally broke. I turned around and started yelling at him. I told him he had no right to talk about my body the way that he did. And that all he does is objectify me. He started laughing and said, wow, those are big words. And that when we met, he thought that I was in better shape. But my clothes obviously tricked him. I'm 5'4 and I weigh 130 pounds. I am by no means fat. But the way that he was bullying me was making me think that I was. That's when I told him that he was the fat one. And that he had a big, huge beer belly. I also told him that his face was super round, but that didn't bother me. Oh yeah, and that his hairy back was gross. Then he said, wow, I can't believe 
believe you're attacking my physical appearance. Then he stormed out of my apartment, and as soon as he left, I felt happy. We haven't spoken in four days. I'm afraid that if he asks me to get back with him, I will. But I should just break up with him, right? What should I do?